Roger Mudfossil University. Uh, mud fossils now are starting to get accepted. People are going out there finding their own and they want to find and get them validated and DNA tested and all that. So they're approaching labs all over the world now. I mean, literally all over the world. Now, I got this from Germany from my friend uh, Jens in uh, Austria, and she, uh, or he or she, I'm not even sure to be honest with you, the gender here, but uh, they have a um, mud fossil group over in Austria. So they harvested some DNA, and he says, I, I write to you because of an important matter. In September 2018, I pulled in Austria different tests for DNA analysis of fossilization. Then I have tried to find in Austria and Germany a DNA lab which these an, an analysis carries out. There were no ascents, in other words, he's getting no, nobody would do it. And then my last possibility in Freeburg also cried off at the end, and, and he's saying it's sanity. Okay, I have thought. Then I took up with the Helix Bionet lab in the United States, and uh, and he's got, got a problem there too. And uh, anyway, he immediately answered to me, um, Really, they thought I, and I wrote back what I should pay, and he has never gotten an answer back. So after a month, he's still waiting. So he finally sent the samples, and I guess Tom wasn't happy about it. I know, I, I've spoken with Tom, and I have, I, I worked with him four years ago, three and a half years ago. So uh, he's, anyway, um, I don't know what else to say. I don't know, and I, I, I tried contacting Helix myself, and I haven't heard anything. And I, I don't know, you know, I don't know. He's maybe he's busy, maybe I don't know what to think at this point. But nobody else in the world will do this, as far as I can tell. Now I did get a tip from somebody about another place, but he said, "Do not tell them what you're sending them in for testing. Don't tell them." Now that's why is that? Anyway, I, I've got some things to talk about, and and, uh, and this is all, this is only one of two in one day. Hold on, I'll get the other one. All right, I'm just pointing the, the camera off. I don't want to show the guy's email and stuff. But anyway, uh, this guy's name is Andrew, Andy. And he says, hi, Roger. I did not realize where you had your stones tested. Did not do it anymore for you. Uh, I am so frustrated. And I don't know if he will or not. I, I'm so, I, I've tried contacting Tom a couple of times. I never got any response either. So I don't know what's going on. But... Anyway, he says, I'm so frustrated. I see things which really interest me. And then when you try to get hard evidence, you find there's no way of doing that, either because you are not allowed there or it does not fit the so-called science of today. Anyway, and he wants to go anywhere. He says, I'm, I'm going to be selling this property. He says, I'm going to sell my property and move to a country where I can grow food all year round, get a lot of sun, and da, da, da. And he said he'd go anywhere in the world during this interim time between where he moves and pick up samples and get them tested. I, I, I don't know, apparently he's a man of means, I don't know. But um, because he's, he was perfectly willing to go to Morocco. He said, here, uh, maybe I got something here, hold on. Uh, I've been following you several years, your work fascinates me. Uh, I'd like to help you by visiting a site, taking samples, pictures, video, whatever you'd like me to do. I'm very interested in the dragonfish site and also the embryo site. I've not looked into it totally as I want to contact you first and see if the sites are accessible. He's willing to go out there and fly out there and hire things and do this and that, which is very, very... No, admirable, but I had to contact him back. I said, I don't think you're going to get anywhere, to be honest. But and he was very disheartened. So anyway, that's the deal. It's time to start looking at this stuff for the reality it is. If if they say they're looking for reality, they're looking for reality. It's reality. It's reality. That's all. If it's that, if it's reality, it's reality. If it's not, then show me it's not. Okay, this is um, mudfossils.com up on the web, and um, it's Mud Fossil University, and um, there's going to be a book and some things done, and I'm not doing it personally myself. Someone offered to do this, and, and I graciously, <laughs> graciously they offered, and I accepted, and, and I appreciate that. Now, um, what is up here is, um, you know, the DNA reports and you know, the uh, YouTube videos and uh, Facebook. But here's the DNA reports. Now, here I do have, a, a, I'm pretty, pretty um, dismayed, to be perfectly honest with you. Now, this goes back to uh, July of um, 2015. So, we're three years ago, three and a half years ago. And the I sent in three DNA samples, magnificently harvested, 
from doing all of the precautions they use, the bleach and the cleaning and the tools and the deep extraction, and I know where to get it from. I took it right from the arterial blood supply because I know where to find these these um, biological places. So it, it, it was actually dense with DNA, and I had a re I had a discussion with Tom, who owns his lab here, and uh, very very talented people, very talented. So and then they had this sequenced at another lab in New Jersey called uh, Eaton Bio Labs, I believe it is, and it's all in this report here, and it's right here. It's up on. Um, mudfossils.com so it's not something I'm hiding no so this goes back to three three samples I just called them 36 inch tip which was a huge fingertip 36 inches a lung which is the size of a human being and a mud fingertip that's what I called them and he he did the extraction in fact you know they they do whatever they do I did the the I harvested the samples then they extract the DNA from the samples then they analyze it to see what is it now they put in a thing called negative controls to test to be sure that there's nothing has been e extra stuff in there there's just one set of dna that type of thing i believe is what, what it matters means now uh and they use all of these different special solutions and times and you know they have to time and do all kinds of very, it's, it's it's a complicated thing it's not this is not you know your 10 minute test you know am i pregnant or not no this is like let's see what's exactly in these samples so it's qualitative pcr analysis incorporated all lingon and lecolide primers all this kind of it's, it's, you know you're not going to understand i don't understand i can tell you that maybe you'll understand if you want to read it uh it comes down here and it talks about the three different samples to, 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 and how they looked and so forth and the densities and this and that then the results and it says um, a positive result for specific mitochondria marker indicates the marker DNA sequence was successfully amplified in the sample sample testing negative for a specific mitochondria marker indicates that the marker DNA sequence is not successful in each sample that tested positive, one single amplicon of the correct size as measured in base pairs was amplified. Amplicons appear as one single distinct band on the agarose gel. Amplicons produced from primer pairs da -da 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 were the most robust amplicons produced, and as a result, these amplicons were selected for DNA sequencing. And here they are, and they were positive, and the negative controls was negative. And yeah, you got a positive, positive. The mud tip, they got a, neg a negative on the second different type of PCR, but on the first type, they got positive. This, the mud tip, I'll show you, was extremely eroded, and I thought I was getting a good sample, and I didn't go deep enough. So I only got a part. But the other ones were positive and they were, were dense. So it, even if the mud tip wasn't right, it, it's, it's still it's, it's right anyway, you see. Um, so they're showing these samples and the, the middle one was good and the other ones had extremely dense because I went right into the arteries and took it. The, the, the mud tip, well here, I'm gonna show you what the mud tip was. Just so you have an idea of how eroded it was. This is the mud tip. All right. Now, if you see that black pattern there, I hope that's visible, but this black pattern right in the middle here is the pattern that indicates a distal phalanges fingertip. And that right there is a vein, and that's the artery. And the artery comes down and it blows out on the sides because that's where the, the blood runs and it blows out in the end. Now that's where I took the, the sample from. And I didn't go really deep in there. I just figured I could just go in there a little bit and scrape around. I should have drilled way deep in there because this is so heavily eroded. That's why this didn't test as dense. But you can even see the bone pattern in here. You see the bone coming up around here? It's just all the meat has eroded away and all you got is the bone tip in the front and the, the apical tuft is at the end. And I have one of those too. Hold on, stay with me. All right, here's an apical tuft. I showed this to, uh, you know, any, any anatomist. If they say they don't understand it, well, then you better get a different anatomist. Don't let them touch your body because you have no clue what they're doing. At the end there, this is what's at the very end of a distal phalanges. And these are the bone 
uh, the uh, tendon implants that implant in these tuberosities. And they know this. And these come back, and then you have tendons that are like all over the place here, and that's what allows your fingers to articulate. That's a, <laughs> this is the artery side, I mean the vein side, you see? They, they're here, but they're clamped off. This, 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 they clamp, they can't go backwards. These explode backwards. And you, you talk to any coroner, he'll tell you, oh yeah, yeah, the veins and the arteries are different. And the arteries explode when they, they're hanging in this condition where the blood is, is, is running down this hand, exploded out of here. And this was in where it was eroded most. The rest of this hand, and I have most of it, was in extremely good shape. And let me show you another fingertip from the same hand. All right, there's another fingertip from the same hand. That's a fingertip. All right, that's the end of the fingertip. We broke this off over here to see inside of here is where the black blood is. That's the vein blood. The red blood was on this side. It went through that artery on this side. And you see, this is where they invest the, the tendons extremely. <laughs> see, it's, and that's, that's been... Uh, that's been... Um, CAT scan. It wasn't DNA tested in Bali. I had the other one DNA tested. But I had I had a, a lung DNA tested. I had this one DNA tested. And I had some some skin from a, a huge, enormous fingertip that I can't move around. So it comes down and it talks about all of the different things they found the primers and this and that. And then it comes down to uh, they sent the the stuff to ba Eaton Bio Labs in New Jersey. And they did all the sequencing. They came back with following the processing of formatted DNA sequence, approximately 80 to 100 base pairs of DNA sequence generated for the 36 inch tip. 80 to 100 base pairs. That's like hitting the lottery 10,000 times in one day. Using primers that are, and for the lung sample, using primers that are, were submitted individually into a nucleotide blast searching the US. United States. National Center, that's anything that was ever alive, or is, de is dead now. Uh, each DNA sequence was matched to all DNA sequences contained in the national database. All right, the results of the blast search using DNA sequence generated from the 36 tip, tip and lung were as follows. Homo sapien mitochondrial cytochrome B gene, Homo sapien mitochondrial D loop region. Both of them. They both had the same dense, and it was dense. I asked him, I said, was this stuff dense? Are you 100% sure? And I can, I'll play the, the uh, recording, because I told him I was going to record it so that I had, it, he, we were talking prior to getting the actual report written, but he was telling me the things that were, were going to be in the report. And we had a discussion. I told him I was going to tape it, and I did. And, uh, and, and then it comes down and talks about all these CTAG sequences and who has what and and, and I've I submitted this to a bunch of different people and they say oh, yeah, well it must be wrong something's wrong something can't be right well you know they say it's right but it must be wrong <laughs> because they can't accept it and it comes down here and that was Tom Tom Pachinko very very good highly accomplished guy now the reason I say I'm a little bit distressed is because I'm getting emails that nobody in the world now will test mud fossil DNA, which is, is disturbing. <laughs> I read you a couple, and it's just two of them in the, in the last day. It's been happening over, I've been hearing this and sort of, oh, just look around, oh, well, you'll find something. Well, no, They've, it's the words out, don't do this, apparently. Because apparently Helix doesn't, want to get involved in this either. I, all I can do is tell you the emails I'm getting. And, and I'm, I'm saying these things out loud so people understand what's going on. Because if you don't say it out loud, nobody knows. Hey, whoa, 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 just have it tested. Well, they won't test it. Just have it peer reviewed. They won't review it. Just write an article and have somebody listen to it. They won't publish it. Just talk to somebody. No, they won't talk. What do you do? And, and you can go out in 15 minutes your own self and find this. It's not something that's ever going to be stopped. So it's very, very upsetting that you know, it's three and a half years ago. This is three and a half years ago. We're into 2019 now. So what can I say? <laughs>